Yeah, Eric, and keep in mind, this is at an encampment that presents an immediate threat to the safety of those seniors who live just across the street. They tell me they've heard gunfire almost nightly and including this morning. They say they feel like the city and the state have abandoned them. It's perfect weather for a dip in the new pool at this homeless encampment in Seattle, or maybe a poolside puff of fentanyl. But someone told me that they've hooked up a hose and filled a swimming pool with it. But for seniors who live across the street... I thought, oh my God, what next? And they ain't paying nothing and stuff like that, but we've got pay to live here. This pool is just the latest slap in the face. These people can come in and totally trash the place. Herb Eggie says since this encampment started a few months ago, his car's been busted into and someone just drilled into his gas tank. As elderly people especially should not have to worry about our possessions or our lives. It's not safe. Please get them out of here. Cheryl's apartment overlooks the encampment. She says she hears gunfire almost nightly. There's times where you've had to get on the floor because of the gunshots. Yep, in the middle of the night. She's truly scared. Diane Radishat has led the charge to get the state to step in and stop the encampment, which sits alongside Highway 509. We want the solutions. We know the problems, and we know what the solutions are. The state says they need to do housing outreach for the people here first, but that's been in the works for months. And after a homicide, drugs, gunfire, and theft, Diane says waiting any longer means putting the people here at risk. Did you think the murder would change things here? Well, I think everybody thought the murder was going to change things. Oh, my God, there was a homicide on that property. They're really going to come and give us some attention now. And they didn't. Now, the seniors got a letter today from the mayor's office that said the city and the state need to study the uh, impact on the environment that a cleanup at that site would have. And you have to ask, what's the environmental impact of leaving this encampment there? Seniors are frustrated. Washtot was out at the site today. They say plans are in the work. There could be more specific sometime in the next few weeks. Reporting live in Seattle, Jeremy Harris, Como News.